Welcome, guys. Now, here's the thing. I was just about to make a whole story on my private Instagram talking about something. And then I was like, wait, no. This could be a good podcast episode. And so here we are. And I don't feel like filming myself right now because uh, it's, you know, 11, 12 p.m. on a Monday night. And um, I'm not doing that. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll just get the actual experience of a podcast where you can't see me and you're just listening. Anyways, let me find my microphone because even though you can't see me, I still want you guys to know that I am high quality and holding a mic. All right, here, here, I found it. I found it. Okay, we got my microphone. So what I wanted to talk about. Let me get situated real quick. All right. What I wanted to talk about was reclaiming doing things by yourself. Let me freaking... My cat's scratching at the door. And I don't want her... I don't want her to wake up everyone from her scratching. Like, because she knows I'm awake because she can hear me. So she scratches at the door. And then she'll probably wake other people up because she's scratching at the door. And her freaking claws are loud. Anyways. I want to talk about reclaiming doing things by yourself. Okay, now you can... Now you can probably hear her purring. Um, no, but seriously, guys. So, quick little... Kitty, stop. This is This is not what... You know what, it's fine. So, I was just on TikTok. I, how come I, all of these episodes have started because of something I've seen on TikTok that has caused me to be like, no, I need to talk about this. That is so, we need to fix that. I need to get off that app. Guys, challenge. I'm going to delete it for a week. Just decided. Cool, cool. Anyways, I saw a TikTok that almost spoiled the Sing 2 movie, the new Sing movie, and I love Sing. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love Sing. That movie made me cry when I first watched it, made me cry the third time I watched it, because the second time I watched it, I was like used to it, you know, but then I watched it the third time. And it hit me again, and I just cried. But I love that movie, all right? I will say that I, the reason, I saw it in theaters when it came out, but I feel like I fell asleep because I barely remembered it the next time I watched it. And so the next time I watched it, I watched it because Taron Edgerton was in it, and that was, like, back when Rocket Man came out and I was obsessed with Taryn obsessed and I was like I'm gonna watch Sing I love his voice and he's in Sing so I'm gonna watch this movie so just so I can like hear him sing more songs I did not know that he sang an Elton John song in Sing even though I had seen it before I didn't know he sang an Elton John song and that just made it 10 times more iconic the man who would eventually play Elton John in the biopic, is that what you call it? I don't really know. The man who would eventually play Elton John sang an Elton John song and sang. Iconic! And it's I'm Still Standing. I love that song. So, I love Sing. And I haven't seen Sing 2 yet. I go on TikTok and I almost see a spoiler for it. And I'm like, no. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm going to see this movie. Tomorrow, I am walking to the mall to the movie theater buying myself a ticket and watching this movie by myself okay my cat just like scratched my chin this is i'm gonna kick her out she's really annoying right now no but i'm going to see sing by myself and let's reclaim that energy guys going to things by yourself is now no longer embarrassing or depressing 
right? I've reclaimed that energy. It is not embarrassing to go eat a meal by yourself at a restaurant. It is no longer embarrassing to go on an adventure by yourself. Now, there are guidelines. Be safe. Okay, don't be stupid by yourself. But don't think, oh, I want to go do this, but it's so depressing if I do it by myself. No one wants to go to me, so I guess I can't go. No, no more of that, okay? If no one wants to go with you, fine, so be it. But that doesn't mean that you can't go anyways by yourself. What is so bad about spending time with yourself? Enjoying yourself. Huh? I'll tell you, there's nothing bad about it. Nothing bad at all, all right? We gotta learn to love ourselves in this world, guys. Because if you learn to love yourself, then guess what? Life will probably be a lot easier for you. Because guess what? The only person who's a constant in your life is yourself. Literally, if you really think about it, you will realize how everyone else in your life will come and go. Because, newsflash, people die. But, the only person who is guaranteed going to be in your life forever, for the its entirety, is you. So you better make the most of it. You better start learning to love yourself. Because, if you can love yourself, then you can learn to count on yourself. And support yourself. And that's... Honestly, I don't want to say end goal because there's no, like, I feel like there's no end goal to life. Like, what would that even mean? End goal? Like, death? (laughs) Because if you think about it, what is your end goal in life? Like, why why are you thinking like that? I don't know. I don't like that end goal. So I don't want to say... It's your end goal to love yourself. It's just like a goal. Don't put... Don't put end. That sounds ominous. I don't know if that made sense. Anyways, guys, just... Back to my original point. Let's reclaim... Quality time with ourselves. It is no longer depressing. Alright? I've reclaimed that energy. We're switching the narrative all right just switch it up it's not depressing i don't know why we came to that conclusion like why is going to a restaurant and eating by yourself seen as like depressing i don't understand that but but It's different for, like, coffee shops. Like, if you go to a coffee shop by yourself, no one second guesses it. No one's like, oh, that's so sad, they're here by themselves. But if you go to, like, a sit-down restaurant by yourself, that's seen like, ooh, table for one? Really? Why? Why? If I want to go to a fancy schmancy restaurant and eat some good food, lip-smacking food, and no one can go with me. Why Why would that stop me from getting what I want, the food that I want to eat? Hmm? I, that seems stupid to me. It's stupid. All right, guys. I go shopping by myself all the time. I actually prefer it because I don't feel rushed. I can take my time. Now, that one's not as, like seen as oh you're doing that by yourself that one's like people do that all the time but still we need to normalize more things like that going to the movies by yourself that's totally fine going roller skating by yourself totally fine going to a restaurant by yourself totally fine um what else I don't really know. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Okay?
Self-love. I really preach the self-love, guys. I really do. Because it's kind of great. You know? Oh my gosh. The Speaking of doing things by yourself. Claiming more of this energy. I want to plan a train trip. I want to take a trip on a train by myself. All right? I want to do this by myself. I want to go on a train, go somewhere, and figure it out from there. But here's the thing. I, like, could easily find a date for me to do this in summer, right? But the summer before college, I feel like I should be saving my money rather than going on train trips. Which is why I need to get a job. Because maybe I could save a little extra on the side for my train trip. I was just looking at train tickets today. I was trying to convince my parents to let me... We're going to a wedding. Well, actually, I shouldn't say I was trying to convince. I just mentioned it and I was like, nah, I'm... They're not going to let me do this. I'm not even going to try. I don't know why I do that. I feel like it's not even irrational for me to... My idea was that we're going to a wedding in Portland in June. And I was thinking, instead of like driving up with my parents, what if I just take the train up by myself and meet them in Portland? And I would pay for my own ticket. It's like 98 bucks. So, like, a $98 ticket, all right, for me, that's, like, a little pricey. But at the end of it, when I get to Portland, my parents would already have the B&B, Airbnb booked for me. I wouldn't have to pay anything else for, like, that kind of th- stuff. And then I could just take them, like, I could take the car back with them. Like, I could drive back with them. So really, I would only be paying for, like, one train ticket. And the train ride is, like, <laughs> the train ride, I think, was, like, 28 hours. But, like, I feel like it's one of those things that I need to experience in my life. An overnight train trip where I don't have a bed or a room and I'm just sitting in a chair on a train basically riding through almost the entire state of California and almost the entire state of Oregon. Actually, don't quote me on that. I don't know where Portland is, actually. But that was my idea, and I mentioned it to Mother. And I didn't even try to convince her. I was just like, yeah, what if I took the train? She was like, you want to take the train? And then I was like, yeah, could be fun. And then I stopped talking about it. But in my head, I was thinking, I want to do this. This sounds fun. But then I was thinking also, all right, what if I don't do it this summer, but next summer? So I have like a whole year to put things aside for me to go on a train trip. I'm telling you guys. And then if I save for a longer amount of time, maybe I could like go to multiple places. Like there's this like route on Amtrak where it like goes through like basically California, Oregon and Washington and I could like make a stop at San Francisco and then get back on and go to Portland and then get back on the train and then go to Seattle and then come all the way back down. Wouldn't that be fun? Or or maybe maybe I could go like from see me like the see me station to san francisco then san francisco to um like some stop then seattle like my final destination and then i like stop at portland on the way down so like i don't have to um like do seattle to back to see me in one train trip that would be like so long I don't know if I could do that long of a train ride but I could do like 24 hours like over a day I could do it all right guys 
I could do it. Anyways, I'm just really thinking about planning a solo train trip. Solo. Alright, because again, it's not embarrassing. It would be fun. It would be a fun experience. And I think part of that fun would result from me being able to do something on my own. You know? A sense of freedom of getting on a train by yourself and just riding the rail. I could watch Stand By Me. You know, because they walk on the train tracks and that's my favorite movie and I'm on a train while they're walking on the train tracks. Think of how iconic that moment would be. I could read all just while sitting in my train. This is happening, guys. I've just decided right now that I will plan a solo train trip. Who knows when it will happen? Who knows when I can get the funds? But it's going to happen. All right? So again, the message of this podcast, reclaiming the energy surrounding spending time with yourself. It is no longer embarrassing. It is no longer depressing if you have no one to go with. All right, I don't want to hear that anymore. Go with yourself. Go with yourself. It's not embarrassing. It's not depressing. Just do it. That being said, though, if anyone's interested, I do have two tickets to Hippo Campus in April. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get back to my homework. Bye, have fun.